people. Okay, now we go to the second one. Air conditioning and ventilation. You know, many times, the problem with air conditioning is maintenance. So, if you're building owners or you're building miners, check. Preventive maintenance. Filters, ducts, lowers. Look at this drawing here. Many times, you lose a lot of air through gaps in the ducting system. Okay, double check that. For a fact, that has been done regularly. No? If you're going to retrofit your air conditioning system, look at zone usage. What is zone usage? There might be some components in your building which needs to operate 24 hours. Group them together in the same, same area so that the aircon which will run 24 hours is only isolated to that sector. There may be areas in the building which maybe operate only 8 to 5. Group those people in another sector. They may be night operations only. Group them in separate areas. Function rooms are, are variable. Group them in another. In other words, so that your aircon is not running all over the place and running all the time. You can sectorize the zone the different functions and run the aircon on smaller scales. No? This technical convert the uh, constant air volume to variable air volume systems is how the, 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 the pumps move around. And then temperature controls. No? Let's look at 25 degrees centigrade. That's a comfort level. It's a temperature which you don't have to come in your sweaters. Isn't it funny to come into your office building and wear a sweater, and then when you go out to take your meals, you go out and leave your sweater behind you so hot. No? Something is wrong there. No? So why not come out with a comfortable temperature, and usually I think that's about 25 degrees, and uh, that's more comfortable. Actually, the, the founder of air conditioning, I think his name is Gary or somebody there, uh, he said the key to thermal or air comfort is humidity, more importantly than temperature. So consider that. And then, of course, use eco-friendly refrigerants. No? I just throw here is a simple, no? If you're going to get inside, outside air, no? Try to put the air intake as high as possible, no? You might hear you're gathering dust. The higher, the better. You're away from the, from the ground, no? Ventilation. Let's look at these fans, no? They are interesting because, actually, those things can move air with a very, very little energy cost. They are very slow moving, no? Fans. You know, this is actually, a, look at the size. Huh? These are big fans. You know, this brand in the US is called uh, Bad Ash Fans. Huh? But anyway, it's a, it's a very good thing. It's very, very big. They allow a lot of air moving. As a matter of fact, this is interesting because then it moves the air even if it moves very, very slowly. Huh? Air conditioning. Aside from the, the standard uh, compressor type of air conditioning, there are many developments in air conditioning. I detail this a bit more because air conditioning in the Philippines is the most expensive component of building operation. No? There is an ice thermal air conditioning. What does it do? If you are already applying the cost of time usage of electricity, in other words, if you use electricity maybe at say 1 o'clock in the morning to about 4 o'clock in the, in, in the morning, maybe the cost of, 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 of electricity is lower, you can actually chill ice. And during the day, the rest of the day, all you do is pipes running through that chilled thing and move by pump throughout the whole building. So it becomes a chilled water system and you just have blowers. So during the day, you're just utilizing blowers and not anymore running your compressor. Chilled ceiling, same principle. You have chilled uh, pipes running the ceiling, so by, that, by convection it comes down. No? This recooling, if you have a complex, you might have a ser uh, separate plant for air conditioning and then run pipes throughout the whole complex. Heat pump was mentioned earlier. You have a running air conditioning system. At the same time, the hot side can, can generate the hot air, uh, hot water. This is the most promising for the Philippines. Solar absorption air conditioner. Uh, architect Garcia mentioned it earlier. What does this, how does this work? I'm watching this development very closely. First, the bottom line is that a refrigerant is heated, can be heated by the sun, like a solar water heater system, and then through a, a uh, absorption chiller produces chilled water pipes. Of course, if this is not working, you have to have a backup of heating that refrigerant. There are two types of refrigerants in a absorption chiller. One is ammonia water, and the other one is lithium bromide. So that thing is heated. Now, the Philippines is so hot, so can you imagine 
this is not a buy, this is not the, the, uh, the marketing phrase of the their system, but I, I thought about it. The hotter it gets, the better it works. And that's perfect for the Philippines, no? The hot sun, during midday, it's so hot, 